When I think whale watching, I think Victoria, right? But did you know you can also ogle an orca in Cowichan Bay? And we're the most centrally located whale watching company on Vancouver Island. We have the highest sightings of orca whales every year. Simon began Ocean Echo Ventures about 13 years ago. His gene pool is filled with salt water. His family runs a boat building and boat repair yard near the Cowichan Bay area. Simon had his first boat when he was four years old. I was brought up in a way that I was always told that you have to find something that you love to do and the money will follow. And uh, there was a way for me to stay on the water every day and uh, I'm living my dream. And part of Simon's dream is making other people's dreams come true. I've had many people brought to tears by seeing whales for the first time and uh, I, I thrive on it. A lot of the people who come out with us have never even seen the ocean before. Wow, never seen the ocean before. Living here on Vancouver Island, sometimes I take for granted that we're surrounded by spectacular scenery 24-7. I just love being out there every day. Very, very avid photographer too. And I love to be able to just share what a wonderful place we have in the world here. I've traveled all over the world and come back here to do this because it is just so special here. I asked Simon if he had one favorite moment in all his years of whale watching. One of our resident pods of orca whales, uh, their newest calf was born almost two years ago now. And I was there just minutes after it was born and got to see the whole family all come up and greet this newborn and socialize with it and push it around. And just, yeah, pretty, pretty neat family moment for one of our resident pods. And that is the pod that has uh, Granny, the matriarch, who's 103 years old. So. So uh, yeah, that's probably up there. Simon makes his job look easy, but it's not. As he handles the boat, he shares facts about sea life. So this is J-Pod. Now, each of the three resident pods of Norway. Plus, he has to maneuver around several other whale watching crafts and maintain a safe distance from the whales. Basically, we have some of the strictest regulations in the world to view cetaceans. So, uh, in Canadian waters, we have to maintain 100 meters at all times. In US waters, which we spend a bit of time as well, we have to maintain 186 meters. And the whales are our extended family out there, so we're very, very aware and uh, basically try and create as less impact as possible. I was hoping to get some nice orca video for you, but it ain't easy. The boat's rocking and the whales refuse to pose on cue, but finally I was able to capture one nice breach. <laughs> I hope you got that. This year is looking really good. Um, the numbers for our returning Chinook are extremely high. I'm watching the whales forage out there every day and it really looks like they're getting enough to eat out there to me this year. Last year we definitely had a quite a hard year for salmon for our residents and uh, this year is looking a lot better for them. It was a good day and I wasn't the only happy passenger. It was amazing. Uh, it was the, probably the best time I've ever had in my life. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, nice to see everything up so close and someone with so much uh, sort of knowledge about the, the area was really good. I think everybody who uh, visit Vancouver Island should go here and see the small village and also um, do the tour with Simon because it was something special. We have very strict regulations viewing them, but if we were allowed, I would be in the water in a heartbeat to swim with these whales. Oh, not me. Me. I like killer smiles, but only from a distance. In Cowichan Bay, I'm Dan Kahn.